you are a real estate investor or you want to be a real estate investor and you need and want money to fund your deals, regardless of your credit, your income, or your experience in real estate investing, do not go anywhere because I'm getting ready to plug you into the money. Well, welcome to the Jay Connor Show. I'm Jay Connor, known as the Private Money Authority, broadcasting to you from Moorhead City, North Carolina, Eastern North Carolina, right here at Atlantic Beach. And I'm excited to uh, yet again have as my co-host of the show, Chaffee wins. So Chaffee from Chicago, Illinois. Hello. Hello, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing today? I am fantastic. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing great, man. I'm doing great. So Chaffee, just in case we've got some viewers and listeners, which I'm sure we do that are new to the show, let's tell them a little bit what we do here on the show. Chaffee, I'm catching you off guard. It's your turn. <laughs> Tell them what happens on the Jay Connor show. Well, again, we talk about all things private money since you are the private money authority. So we talk about how to raise it, how to find it, uh, how to use it. And we also talk about all things real estate. Uh, we talk about probate. We talk about foreclosures. We talk about uh, automation, systemizing things. And then obviously we talk about mindsets and personal development, the, the real juice that gets you through some of these deals sometimes, some of the challenges that pop up. So we talk about that piece of it as well. Exactly. Exactly. So Chaffee, before we plug in our viewers and listeners to how to get unlimited funding, regardless of credit experience and income, first ask our viewers, if you are watching us on YouTube, please subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future shows. We give out a lot of valuable content here on every show. Give us a blue thumbs up. Give us a like button coming across. We appreciate that. And then finally, if you are watching on YouTube, we love to know where you are tuning in from. So in the uh, comment bar below the video, say hello, give us your first name, your city and state. Love to know where you are viewing from. And uh, also, if you have any questions that you uh, would like to ask myself and Chaffee, you can post your questions in the comment bar and we'll get all of your questions answered. If you by chance are listening to us on iTunes, subscribe, rate, and review. Subscribe so you don't miss out. Give us a rating of the show, and uh, we would really, really appreciate a review as well. So Chavi, Jay, <laughs> let's plug them into the money, all right? That's right. So first of all, or not first of all, here's, here's what we're gonna do, folks. And I've never done this on the show before. So this is a first. And just so you all know, in case you're new to the show, uh, I've been investing in um, real estate for the past 15 years. Well, actually, we built our first shopping center 20 years ago, but we've been doing the single family house investing for 15 years, done hundreds of deals. Uh, we're right at number 400 uh, rehab that we're on right now. And for the past uh, nine years, we've been using private money to fund the deals. So seven and a half years ago, my wife, Carol Joy, and I started traveling the nation. So we got our business automated and we started teaching, training and motivating other real estate investors or new real estate investors to learn how to do the business like we do. Well, in just a few short weeks, it's like almost here. My next live event is coming right around the corner and and viewers and listeners, Chaffee, this is one reason I have him as a co-host on the show. Uh, Chaffee gets to meet all of my students and attendees at the live events and uh, knows their common questions. Uh, we do free strategy sessions at the live events, one-on-one. -on -one. In fact, I'll get you to talk about that in just a second, Chaffee. But this event to the public is got a ticket of $3,000, but because you all are listening or viewing the Jay Connor show, we're going to slice that down to a piddly $97 ticket price. So folks, you can go read all about the live event and what's going to be taking place at the live event, when it is, where it is, et cetera. Go to www.jayconner, and that's with an E-R if you're listening, J-A-Y-C-O-N-N-E-R.com forward slash money podcast, forward slash money podcast. And that will take you right to reading all about the live event. Chaffee, let's take just a quick moment 
and tell folks what happens at the event. I'll start out. I'll let you finish. Well, what's different about this real estate investing event besides it's <laughs> 97 bucks, my word. First of all, I actually have private lenders at the event. We'll have like 10 or 12 of mine and Carol Joy's personal private lenders you get to network with, have a fantastic VIP reception on the second evening. This is only a three day event, folks. This is not a five day event. Uh, so you get to network with private lenders. The afternoon of the first day, we go on the bus tour and we, this is a different bus tour, folks. The bus tour, we actually go to our houses that are, we've either not even started renovation yet. We've just bought them. Maybe they are under renovation or those that are finished and completely staged and are being marketed on the bus tour. I'll teach you how I found the deals, the numbers, what we bought it for, how we funded it normally with private money. And, and you know, what's it going to sell for? So you get to see the profit. So you get to step behind the curtain to learn how I do the business. I teach the foreclosure system, how we find deals. I teach the selling system, how I can sell any house in three days or less using that process. We teach automation. You meet my, my team as to how we automate the business. You meet our contractors and how we work with them, our realtors, our uh, interior designer, our acquisitionist, our virtual assistants. Virtual assistants are very, very important in the business. So you can come learn hands-on look at, and look and see exactly what's going on. Chaffee, we've got a lot of other stuff going on at the event. What are a, a few other things you'd like to say? Well, first of all, well, I'd like to say that the person the teaching the event is you, you, Jay. <laughs> it's not a yes. coach, not a, you know, somebody else. It's you are there the entire time teaching the event. So you're the guy and you're up on stage and you're sharing the information that you learned and that you're teaching everybody. And uh, I also want to stress, too, is that when we go on the bus tour and at the event, Everyone gets to meet your team, the, your designers at the house, goes to the house and tells, you, you know, the students how they designed everything. Your contractor or your property or your project manager are both at the house as well and talk about the things that they're doing and why they're doing it. And I know at the last one, we got a lot of good comments where you actually asked for feedback of what do you think we should do? And so you asked the students what the students think should be done to the house. And, you know, your contractor and everybody's taking notes as well. and so. You know, it's not just a come check these houses that we found on the MLS. These are your houses that you're working on and they get to see the before product and the after product as well, the finished product as well. So, I um, mean, that's very powerful to get to see that whole process step by step, as well as meet your team and ask them questions. And the fact that you have private lenders actually show up, you know, and trusting that obviously they're going to, you know, be there and answer questions. That's huge. It's a whole. Yeah, absolutely. Besides networking with them, all the attendees get to ask them questions. Yeah, we do a panel discussion where you know we interview them and etc. So also, Chavi, uh, before we jump into uh, today's topic, tell me about the free strategy sessions. Awesome. So the free strategy sessions, uh, they're free for the students. Obviously, they're not free for you, Jay, because you're paying for right? all of them. And there's a huge value, though, because we really sit down with you and go through where you're at today. What are some of the challenges that you're having and how can we help you overcome those challenges? And not only that, put together a roadmap where to achieve, you know, where, where to get how to get to where you want to go. So it might be a six month roadmap. It might be a three month roadmap. It might be just, you know, you got a couple of things that you need to work, you know, right when you get back uh, after the boot camp. Or it might be a year long project that we're working on and we're going to help put that together for you so that you can start being successful, that you can start doing deals and, and getting things done. So if you've been investing for six months and you haven't done a deal yet, you're hitting some roadblocks, we're going to discuss that and go through that and, and address those challenges and see how we can help you overcome those. Yeah, and I'm glad you brought that up, Chad. Because this live event is for new real estate investors and seasoned real estate investors. So for the new real estate investors, we're going to give you specific strategies about how to get your first deal very quickly. For the seasoned investors, we all need more funding. We all are looking for more money to do more deals because we know the more money we got, the more deals we're going to do. And so it's, it's an excellent event for the seasoned real estate investor as well. So again, check it out. Go get registered.
get your hotel room reserved right away before the room block is gone and you miss out. So again, that's www.jayconner.com forward slash money podcast. Okay, Chevy, let's jump in. What are we going to talk about on today's show? Well, Jay, we, we uh, touched on it in a couple of episodes already, and a lot of students are, are always asking about this one topic, which is, what is a subject to deal? How do we do subject to deals? What does it mean? What is it? And how do you do it? Absolutely. So talking about subject to, that reminds me, Chavi, I just, of course, I've done, I've done hundreds of subject to deals. But one recent deal that we just did, buying it subject to the existing note, is just a few short months ago, bought this house over in Havelock. They actually responded to my Facebook marketing. In fact, Chaffee, on some soon upcoming show, we should talk about how I use Facebook uh, to find motivated sellers. Very specific strategy that we employ to, to where we get a good response. Anyway, so these people responded to our Facebook uh, marketing, which by the way, folks, at the live event, I go into great detail about how to use Facebook and finding deals. They responded. They actually called our 24-hour operator service. And so uh, they talked to a live operator. All right. And so we got the initial information. And so my acquisitionist, got the information over the phone, filled out a property lead sheet. We should talk about property lead sheets sometime as well. <laughs> but filled out the property lead sheet and the numbers look good. And I happened to be in town. I wasn't traveling and teaching that week. And so I actually went over to the house, met the people. Chaffee, this was a bona fide pretty house. No repairs, no maintenance. I mean, this house is ready to go. And check this out. These people were current on their payments. Wow. Not behind, not behind on their payments whatsoever. And of course, the positioning and the conversation is very important as to how we talk about buying it subject to the existing note, because a seller has never heard that phrase. In fact, we don't even talk about it over the telephone. So you just don't tell them, tell them you want to buy your house subject to and they get it? No. <laughs> We do not, we don't talk about it over the phone. We explain, here's how we're able to buy your house. I don't ask them if they want to do this. I tell them, here's how we're able to do it. And Got so it. I have what's called assumption conversation. I'm assuming they want to do this. And so got there, boom, by the end of the visit, you know, I was probably there maybe 30 minutes, maybe. Bought the house subject to the existing note. I bought the house for approximately $85,000. Virtually, really. I mean, the house was clean, ready to go. And I wanted to do the fast cash out. Put it in a multiple listing service. Okay. And like, this was like less than two weeks. Less than two weeks. Of course, this was after I bought the house, closed on it. They're out and I've got it staged, right? $154,000, $154,000. And I bought it, you know, in the 80s. So anyway, fantastic deal. Now here's the, here's the great thing. I wasn't paying any high interest rate. I was paying the same mortgage interest rate, you know, that they had. So that's a typical buy subject to deal that we just recently did. Now, Jay, you didn't always know how to do subject to deals, right? <laughs> No, I wish I had. So folks, I've been in the business now for 15 years, done hundreds of deals. The first six years, the first six years that I was in this business, I never heard about buying subject to the existing note. Never heard the phrase, didn't know what it was. And in fact, Chaffee, it's a real estate investing event where you and I met <laughs> nine and a half years ago that I learned about subject to the existing notes. So, you know, folks, if you're viewing now or listening in now, in this conversation, we're going, you're going, you're going to jump immediately. Well, you at least have the idea. You're going to need to get to the live event to get all the nitty gritty, but you're going to jump six years ahead right here of where, of when I started. 
So yeah, I didn't know about it for over six years, Jamie. <laughs> well, that's <Fine>. good. <laughs> so uh, talk to me like I got a house that I want to sell you. How how would you talk to like wh- who am I like who wants to do a subject two deal and how would you talk to me in order to get me to sell you my house subject two? Sure. First, let's tell our listeners and viewers what it is and then that the conversation that will okay. make perhaps better sense. So what it means to buy subject, oh, my land's chaffy. We've got like five minutes left on this show. So I'm going to have to hurry up. So the what it means to buy subject to the existing note is the owner of a house or property is willing and agrees to sell their house or their property to you, the real estate investor, the title and deed transfers into your entity, whether you're using an LLC, land trust or whatever. And the seller is agreeing or has agreed for the mortgage to stay in their name. Okay. You as the real estate investor are agreeing to make their payments and keep their payments current. And of course, this is very attractive to someone that's behind on payments, right? Because you're actually going to help their credit score by bringing payments current and keeping them current because they sure haven't been doing it. And then their mortgage will get paid off when you, as the real estate investor, find someone that is ready for a mortgage and they then get their own mortgage on the property. And when they get their own mortgage and the deed is transferred into the buyer's name, we call it the cash out buyer or the end user that we're going to sell it to the original seller's mortgage is paid off. Now, how about clarify for the viewers and listeners what I just said? (laughs) Think about that. To make sure everybody's understanding what I just explained. So the seller stays on the mortgage. Their name is on the mortgage. They hold the mortgage. So you're not getting a new mortgage. Correct. And you get title though. So you actually own the property. That's right. right. So you're transferring title, except the mortgage is still in the seller's name. That's right? right. That's right. So that's what it means to take subject to the existing mortgage, their mortgage, yeah. right? And so when so it's you, like, in, I was just saying, it's like the purchase. The purchase is subject to the existing note staying in place at the time of purchase to us. And, and or, so why would I do that again? Why would I keep my name on a mortgage that on a property you own that I sold oh, yeah. to you? You know, when I first heard this at the event that we met at, I'm going, who in the world is going to agree to sell their house to me and keep the mortgage in their name? I mean, how do they know I'm going to make the payments? Right. You know, what, what a surety do they have that I'm going to make the payments? I'm going, who in the world? And so I started you know, offering to buy houses, subject to the existing note, I found out very quickly a motivated seller who wants debt relief, who does not want to have to be making payments anymore, are the ones that will sell. I mean, it's like, particularly if they're behind or something has happened in their life or, or to the property or both, and they can't make the payments, it's like, what have they got to lose, you know, in those cases? Now, the story I just told about the recent deal we did, they were current. But they had a big motivation. They had a big motivation for debt relief, not to expand on that story any longer for the sake of time. But their motivation, they needed to get out of the house. I'll just keep it that short. They had to get out of the house and get out of Dodge. Right. So they don't want to keep making payments and they didn't have time to list it in MLS. They had to go. So the higher the motivation of the seller, the more likely they will agree to sell subject to. In fact, this is nothing we're making up, Chaffee. Buying subject to the existing note is already on the HUD settlement statement. Okay. It's been on there for decades and decades. It's line 203. And that's where it says, that would like for the funding of the funding for the deal. It says subject to existing note. It's nothing your real estate attorney has got to make up. It's already on the HUD. So it's not a real estate investor creative solution. It's something that's already out there. Exactly. Exactly. And the key, like you said, is finding somebody that's motivated, somebody that needs that relief. Because usually if they're behind on payments, the next step would then be to go in foreclosure or possibly lose their house then. Exactly. And for the folks that are behind on their payments, 
I'm coming along with a solution and I'm actually offering them some moving money. You know, if they're behind, I mean, the lender's not going to give them any money. And so just a, a short piece of the script. We don't have time to go into the full script right here. But you ask, what do I actually say to the seller? Or what does my acquisitionist say? Again, we don't do it over the phone. It is in person. So once we walk the property, estimated repairs, if there are any, and the numbers work, okay? Uh, we've got the profit or the spread that we want. Here's part of our scripting. We say, let's say I'm talking with you, Chappie. We'll do a little role play here. So you're the owner. I'm in your home. You know, by the way, when I'm walking around in the house, this has got nothing to do with buying subject two. I never run the property down to the owner. I never say, oh, this is needing a lot of repairs, blah, 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 blah. No. I mean, this is their castle. This is where they live. I honor and respect where they are and et cetera. So anyway, I'll say to you, I'll say, well, Chaffee, looks like I can make the numbers work here on the property with what, uh, you know, you're selling it for and et cetera. And so here's how we'll be able to close this transaction. We're going to have a traditional closing at the real estate attorney's office. I use, and I tell them what a real estate attorney that we use in Moorhead City. We're going to have a traditional closing. The uh, real estate attorney will do the title search, make sure everything is clear, et cetera. And so when we go to the closing table, the, my real estate attorney will prepare the documentation to where I'll buy it. The title, the deed to your property, Chaffee, is going to transfer over into my LLC. So now all the expenses, all the problems, all the headaches that you have associated with this property will be gone completely. Uh, I've got, I pay the insurance, I pay the taxes, I've got the repairs, I've got everything. And the your current mortgage will stay in your name until we quickly find a cash out buyer and then all of us will be cashed out and, and made, uh, you know, made whole. And in the meantime, my company will be responsible, not only for everything associated with the property, but responsible for making your payments. So I got two final questions. Yeah. And, and I know that you go in a ton of detail at the live event. You'll go through everything there. And in the interest of time here, just two more questions. First is, how do you use private money for the deal? So oh, we yeah. talked about that a little bit already. So. Can sure. So yeah, the, the short, the short answer. Go ahead. No, I said, can you expand upon that? What what you touched upon? Sure. Yeah. So the short answer is, I buy the house subject to the existing note. If so, now if the payments are behind, and if the property needs some repairs, some renovations, the existing mortgage will stay in the first position. OK, I will then go borrow private money from one of my private lenders. And let's say I'm going to borrow twenty five or thirty thousand dollars because every property has got marketing costs. Every property has got carrying costs. Some of these are behind in payments. I got to bring payments current, etc. So I may go get a twenty five or thirty thousand dollar second mortgage. I'll give a, a junior lien to a private lender. So now I have the first mortgage which is the seller's mortgage that I'm making the payments on. And then in second position, uh, the private money. And, and I think that's important because that's one of the biggest questions that I hear from a lot of students is, you know, I want to buy subject two, except I need 15,000 to get the mortgage current. I don't have 15,000. Where do I get that from? Right. Exactly. And so exactly. you've got the solution, right? Private money, right? That's it. That's it. Awesome. So second question is I hear about this big, scary thing called this due on sale clause thing. You know, what is that and how do I get around it? Or, you know, how do I make sure that that doesn't happen? Yeah. So it's very common in most mortgages for there to be what's called the due on sale clause, which paraphrased in layman terms, what it says is if at any time the property is sold by the owner who's got this mortgage, the lender has got the right, but does not, but is not required. But the lender has got the right to call the note due paid in full when that title transfers. Scares most real estate investors when they hear about the due on sale clause. Well, what am I going to do if they call the note due? 
Well, and, and, and that means they, when they call the note due, that means you got to pay what's owed on that property. You got to pay the mortgage off at one big shot, right? The whole like thing, you know, whatever. It's due. Whatever the principal amount or balance is, if you if you, if you still owe one hundred and fifty thousand dollars, then they want the entire balance, you know, paid. Otherwise, they'll foreclose and take the property away from you, right? Exactly. Exactly. So in the real world, what happens? Well, I've got a good friend that's done over 3,000 deals. Never had the do on sale clause exercise. I've done in the hundreds of deals. I mean, just the rehab pieces, 400 deals. With the other types of deals, north of, you know, 600 deals. Of all the 72 deals I've, I've done, not the first one's been called due. But you know what? We may have a viewer or a listener. It might happen to them, right? So what do you do? What do you do if they call the no due? Private money. Private money. Of course. So <laughs> if they call the no due, you got private money learning how to do the business the way I do it. And so, you know, I don't worry about it at all. You know, because I know I got the private money in case it called due. But in the real world, the likelihood is like 0.00001% kind of thing. So I've heard so stories I've heard of where stories it has where happened before. Happened before. Yeah. And if students do what you teach, which is get the money first, then it's never an issue. It's never a challenge. That's right. That's right. Awesome. And again, you cover all this in the live event that's coming up. And uh, you'll go through step by step on how to do everything. Exactly. Exactly. Chaffee, we're out of time, but as we always do, we like to take a moment and give some advice as to how to help our viewers and listeners with the mindset. How do we, how, how do we take ownership of the real estate between our ears before we take ownership of real estate that's out there? So, hey, I'm not going to ask you a specific question. It's up to you. <laughs> what advice do you want to give on mindset? It might relate to, I tell you what, so how could someone overcome their fear or trepidation of buying a house subject to? Well, their first, their first one. Well, the, um, the acronym of fear, which if you don't know, some people might have heard this before. And so if you haven't heard it before, it stands for false evidence appearing real. So false evidence appearing real. And so what happens is that we hear all these scary things out there like do on sale clause or, you know, why would somebody do this? And I don't know what to say. I don't know how to say it. How do I transfer the property? Do I put it in my name or a company or whatever uh, the, the, you know, the entity is that I, I transfer it. And so, again, the more you learn, the easier it is to do. Now, we don't want you to learn so much that you never end up doing anything. Right. And so the key to success in doing subject to deals or any deal for that matter, or your first deal especially, is to really work with a good mentor, really work with a good coach that has done it, that has been there, that has a system you can follow. Follow the system, use the coach for support and guidance, and do what they tell you to do and don't overthink it. Because a system, the acronym for system, right, is save yourself time, energy, and money. Save yourself time, energy, and money. So if you follow the system and then you use the coach and the mentor for support and guidance, then you just do the deal and don't overthink it. And so that's how you get through some of these fears that you might have is just by, again, following the system and using a coach and a mentor. And when you come to the live event, you're going to get exposed to Jay, your system and use you as a resource to ask some of these questions and get some of these you know, answers that they're going to need to help them through the process. Exactly. I'm so glad you said what you just did because it triggered me with this thought. The only antidote I know, the only cure I know for worry about what might happen is to take action. Absolutely. Take an action, you know, start the marketing, get the FISBO leads coming in for sale by owners, the motivated, you know, well, the first action is get to the live event. So you get the training. So you know right. exactly, exactly how to do it. And, uh, but you know, to get good at something, you do it over, you do it over, you do it over. So take action, get to the live event, take action, make the offers and that'll overcome the fear. We're out of time, Chaffee. Parting comments before we say farewell on this show. 
you said it, Jay, take action. Get to the live event, get the knowledge and information you need, and then take action. Awesome, and also, don't forget, subscribe, rate, and comment. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Subscribe, rate, and review on iTunes, and subscribe, thumbs up, and send your questions and comments right. on uh, YouTube. So with that, y'all, look forward to seeing you, everyone, at the live event at www.jconnor.com. That's er.com forward slash money podcast. Chavi, thank you so much for being here. Thank you to all of our viewers and listeners for tuning in. And here's to seeing all of you at the upcoming live event. And we'll see you on the next show as well. Bye for now. Bye for now.